My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D, birthday 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll Lynn has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, you could have ate healthy, you Eat chose not to, do you really need to go on vacation, you need to buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Hey guys, Grüße aus Deutschland, greetings from Germany. Once again, the other video is rendering. So, um... Apparently, Pookie uh, is not focusing on what she needs to focus on. Uh, if she wants us to believe the narrative that uh, her and her paid caretaker just broke up, uh, maybe she should focus on dealing with that. Just like when she uh, tried to make us believe that she was diagnosed with cancer, all she seemed to be interested in is uh, fixing the reaction to her um, to her videos by uh, coming on and telling us that we need to believe her and it's an audacity that we don't. And so what she's doing now is trying to make us believe that her and her paid caretaker broke up, even though it's pretty clear that um, the two years are up and so uh, the paid caretaker is, uh, you know, that, that contract is over and so she's leaving. Uh, that, that's pretty obvious. Um, or at least that's my opinion, that's my speculation. Um, but she's not focusing on that. Uh, she'd rather make sure that Becky keeps her mouth shut and that is an audacity um, because, Amber, you can't keep running around being a complete bitch without any emotions and without any remorse, shame or guilt and try to fix the reaction to you. You need to change. And uh, somebody like Becky has not deserved to be treated this way because she, other than you, appears to be a good person. So let's get into it. Then I'm going to comment um, on what uh, Becky said. I'm just going to read it for those of you that are not in the mood to read it. So the first community post was uh, posted seven hours ago where Becky said, So I have been threatened that if I speak on my truth, the law will be involved. Laughing emoji. Look how I was publicly treated, but I'm being threatened with the law. I saw the breakup video and the reasons she's being so graceful with this one is because she thought I wasn't good enough, um, but this one somehow was. I did everything for her and just like always, I was treated like garbage. I suffer every day because of what I was put through, but I'm the one who has to stay quiet. How is that fair? Then three hours later, uh, Becky posted, she wants me to clear up that I mentioned the law first. Yes, back last September, which was almost a year ago. I mean, 10 months ago. Why? Because she wouldn't stop talking about me. This time, though, she said, if either of us talk about each other, we can get the law involved. That was just a few days ago since she texted me that. She wanted that cleared up, so there you go. Um, okay, I'm going to turn this into a message number three to Becky. Becky, you have to... Stop taking instructions from Amber. She does not run your life. And what she does on the internet is damaging your reputation. And uh, there are several paths. One of them is you you ignore her. Uh, the other one is you speak out on her. Um, I don't know. You know, re-listen to my, my first two messages to you. Um, they're on my channel and you can, when you look at the videos, you see, hey, Becky, um, th those are the messages to you. Um, please do not let her intimidate you. All of us out here know that she is only putting up a, a cheap high school play um, with that paid caretaker from New York. Nobody's buying it, at least I think so, because with our views going up, I'm not so sure anymore. So I'm just going to speak for myself here. Um, I'm not buying it. I don't think they had a relationship. 
and that is why you should not feel like she's being treated better now that they're uh, breaking up. I think that she, um, that uh, YP was paid for her services, which is an audacity looking at what Amber did to you, um, taking advantage of your time and your energy for years, for four years at that. YP only lasted two years. And um, it was pretty pretty clear to all of us that, that were watching that she was taking advantage of you. She is still, she still hasn't published the videos with you in them. And again, I would like for you to go to Instagram and look for just my two cents. I have the same account there and I send you information that you can use to sue Amber for damages and all kinds of other stuff. Please read through it or take it with you to a lawyer. I'm, I'm sure that there's uh, somebody that works uh, pro bono in your area and um, because this is getting ridiculous. I mean, she just bought more um, uh, subscribers to where she's at 220,000 now. And look at the view she's getting just for that breakup video and uh, uh, subsequent uh, videos. And uh, so you've earned your share. You have. Um, you have endured emotional damage from this woman. You've uh, spent your time and energy on her and she's treating you like shit even now, even two years after you had the audacity in her eyes to break up with her. And uh, to that, I just want to say good, good for you that you did that. Um, but it seems like Amber cannot let it go. And I think that this whole breakup thing with YP... Um, is only to draw the attention to something else because she is scared shitless. She is shitting her pants uh, in fear of you speaking out on her. And uh, uh, Becky, I'm not trying to influence you in any kind of way. I'm just trying to point out your options. Um, if you feel eloquent enough and strong enough, uh, I would really think about speaking out. Maybe not in a live stream. I mean, you saw how with Destiny that went uh, went the wrong way. Um, because I would have thought that Destiny has more to say to Amber, but she was mainly just giggling, asking her a few questions. Okay, I, I give her that. But other than that, um, I don't think um, talking to Amber in a live stream was a good idea. And so in your case, knowing uh, about you, what I know about you from the vlogs, um... I would recommend you either do like just a voice recording where you answer questions or you write down statements that you would like to make um, to clear up things. It might help you, it might not. You might need therapy, um, you know, um, uh, therapy where you talk about, t talk through all of the things that happened, but they were traumatic and we saw it from out here. So we can imagine how um, emotionally, um, devastating it must have been for you do not let her intimidate you you have the law on your side she is still uh, making money from the videos that she has up on her channel where you were seen and heard and also um, she has implemented herself by saying that you are now that this was after the breakup you are now her employee which means she owed you a salary and so I put it all in the Instagram um, message you I, I can imagine you might be getting a whole lot of them uh, but it's worth it scroll down to the one I sent you I don't know a few weeks ago um, when I I think when I posted my second message to you um, it's really worth it and have a have a lawyer look over it the law is on your side trust me and um, Okay, so n now let's just uh, go through the message again or the community post uh, that Becky has posted. I'm going to give my commentary on that. Uh, so Amber threatening her is a joke. Amber needs to needs for somebody to come after her and keep her busy because apparently she has too much time and energy on her hands where she just sits on her shelf as just coming up with things how to... Uh, continue enraging the masses, the, the audience. Uh, and at the same time, she shoots at people in her real life. And that is a joke.
Becky says, look how I was publicly treated. Yes, we saw that and that it was horrific. I can't believe that uh, so many things happened where I just thought, wow, I would smack her in the face. And I'm not even a physical violence kind of a person. I would slap her in the face for what she did, um, especially the part where... Uh, Becky had um, dental surgery and like a day later she still hadn't eaten and Amber was vlogging her. I mean if you have a if you have a swollen um, a cheek do you want to be you know filmed and for that video to end up on the internet with with her having what uh, 150,000 subscribers at the time I don't even know I don't even care um, you know nobody would want that and then um, Amber asked uh, Becky how she's doing, and Becky said, I'm, I'm getting hungry. I haven't ate since yesterday. And uh, then Amber just casually told her to get something to eat. That was so stone cold. And uh, this is just one of the many examples where uh, Becky was publicly abused by Amber, and she still has it up on her channel. All the proof is there. That person's light is making me look really... Yeah, it looked like Diff a big cherry. <laughs> big? Big? And Becky, I'm not trying to sway you, but if you decide to take legal steps against Amber, I can assure you that me, for sure, and at least 10 more reaction channels will invest their time in um, getting those clips, um, you know, to, to uh, hand them over to you so that you don't have to do the work since you're working. I mean, I'm working too, but I would make it a point to have enough time to do this, uh, to give you the clips, to give you the proof of Amber abusing you on her channel. Uh, I'm, I'm sure other reaction channels would help you with that too. We would make it a community effort um, to... Uh, to hand you over that information so that you can use it uh, to get justice, just in case you decide to do so. I'm not trying to sway you in any way. So I've been threatened. Uh, yeah, that, that's a joke. Um, I would not take that seriously at all because Amber is just uh, all talk, no action, and uh, she doesn't even have any legal basis for this uh, for this statement. And so... Um, yeah, and yes, uh, Becky did everything for her, and uh, just like always, she gets treated like garbage. Yeah, but uh, th this is not because uh, Becky is a bad person. It is because Amber is a completely horrid human being. That is why. And the reason why she's not treating Wipey like garbage now is because uh, Wipey has so much garbage on her. And I don't think Wipey's going to take it. I think Wipey has the eloquence and... Um, maybe even the will to do something about Amber. And uh, the fact that YP knows what Amber is doing and still says publicly, I mean, of course it was scripted. Apparently it was scripted or very obviously uh, the conversation between uh, Amber and, uh, and YP was scripted, but she publicly states repeatedly that Amber is a good person. That is a joke. That is a joke. And that is also proof how uh, low Amber has stooped. And um, it's not fair, Becky. It is It is not fair. And none of this should have happened, but sometimes things happen to us in life to wake us up, um, to teach us lessons, and it's, it's never easy. But when the pain cannot stop because the other person won't stop uh, bashing you, um, on the internet, dude, I don't know, I, I'd probably get a lawyer involved, I don't think I would be in touch with her anymore, um, you know, this texting back and forth, I would block her on every, uh, platform, and, um, uh, cause she, she's just all, uh, hot air anyway, she never follows through on anything, and so I would get a lawyer involved, because enough is enough, I mean, this is just me. I'm not saying uh, Becky should be doing this. Becky needs to listen to her heart and follow her intuition, you know, her guidance. And um, if this all just disgusts her and she wants to move on, I don't know how she could. This is YouTube. This is an international platform. Uh, the proof for that being that I'm ailing from Germany right now. And so, I don't know.
uh, yeah, this is basically all I got uh, about this. Uh, Amber needs to quit. And if she doesn't quit, and look, she, it's it's been almost 10 years, she doesn't quit. It's getting, it seems to be getting worse with every year that goes by. Somebody needs to stop her. And uh, Becky, uh, and you need assistance, let me know. I'm offering you my assistance and I'm not doing anything on my channel. I wouldn't even mention if you uh, wrote back to me. I would not. I can assure you that. And you have my word and my word counts. Because other than Amber, there are still people out here that have moral ethics. With that said, I'm going to go. Thank you for listening to this and I will see you soon. Bye.